Hey everybody, I am Ryan Paneer with Ironwood Outfit and I am excited because we are starting uh, about five different jobs. I'll be filming each one. I'm going to do a separate video for each project. I was commissioned with uh, doing some wall treatments on three different conference rooms. So the face is going to be one, the interior, the lid of the inside is all going to be kind of slats. And to cut costs, we went with some pretty thin plywood that I am going to stain in full sheets, rip to length, rip to width on the table saw, and then cut to length in a handful of different sizes. And then when we get there, we'll kind of fit everything. <laughs> The reason I like this project so much is basically because anyone can do it fairly inexpensively with very limited tools. Basically all you need is a circular saw, some stain, and a way to attach these boards or strips to the wall. So it's pretty simple. Obviously when you have 50 sheets like this job it gets a little costly. But if you have an accent wall or something like that, this is a great trick to use. These sheets are about 10 bucks a piece at Home Depot, so it's really cheap, really easy, and you really should try it out. It has a big impact. So here you can see the staining process is really easy. You just flood the surface, wipe off the excess, just like any other staining that you would do. Uh, but here you see me doing a wash treatment. This is what you'll see people do for whitewashing things. You have some paint, you add water to it because what you really want is the grain to show through. So it's just like a stain or a dye. It works really well for getting custom colors and basically anything you want. You just add some, as much water as you want to uh, have as much transparency as you want. And here you see me changing my dust collection manifold, which is probably the coolest thing I've ever made. It works fantastic rather than blast gates and stuff. If you want to see a video on that, I can do a little walkthrough of all that stuff. So leave a comment below, let me know what you want to see more of, and I'll totally do it. So that first round of cuts on that one panel to get them all, basically I'm putting them into three inch strips. I get 15 strips per and I'm left with about an inch. Um, uh, it's annoying. I don't like doing it. It's annoying to handle the stock. It's so flimsy that it just kind of, it sinks. So I figure that uh, I'm gonna gang up a bunch of pieces at once, cut it with a uh, circ saw and I might even just do one right down the middle because once I'm at about half the sheet, the cutting on the table saw is actually pretty easy. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try both ways so you'll see me doing a bunch of stuff uh, and we'll just see which one works best. But the flimsy piece is one by one, just too annoying. So let's get going. Okay, well, I uh, ran out of battery and that saw twice now. 
I never fully charged it anyway, it's my fault. Uh, the saw I have coming has two batteries with it and I also got the uh, angle grinder with two batteries. So I'm going to have four batteries, but I ran to the store and got that. Um, I gotta be honest, super irritated with DeWalt because they had the worst release ever with that Flexvolt stuff. I ordered it from a company uh, the day the day they released it, I can't remember. It was right around the time that they released it. I went on, found a website that was doing this awesome promotion where you got a refurbished 20 volt DeWalt tool with the purchase of a 60 volt. So I just wanted the circ saw because every cordless circular saw that I've ever used had the smaller like, I don't know, it was like six and a quarter, like four and a half, I don't know, inch blade. It was really small really underpowered so i thought man 60 volt that's awesome got it immediately he sent me an email i don't know a week after it launched and said oh sorry you know dewalt had really bad distribution well i waited i mean i don't know how long it's been since it's, it's over a month probably and i kept calling back and forth and they finally couldn't do it i went to home depot the other day there was one sitting on the shelf and i was so irritated so i went online bought the one it, it was kind of odd that it was the same price for the saw with one battery as the saw with two batteries no brainer uh, so i bought the one with two batteries had to order it said it's going to be here in a few days but the one in the store had the one battery so i just went and bought that one because i wanted to do this i'm sick of not having a cordless saw um, but i'm kind of irritated that their distribution so i called a buddy of mine who works for, for milwaukee and he said, yeah, it was one of the worst releases that anyone's ever had when it comes to tools. People are still waiting on their tools. I watched YouTube and a bunch of these guys are getting shipped like a ton of stuff as advertising. And I'm like, freaking hey, the people who bought it don't have it yet. And they're sending it as a promotional thing. Jacked up, DeWalt. That's all I'm saying. It sucks that I already bought into your entire line of stuff and I've got like 13 different DeWalt wire or cordless tools. 20 volt and now 60 volt. I'm irritated with myself. What do you do? A little self hate. I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna wait. I want to get this done tonight. It's late. It's like nine or ten o'clock. Uh, I just really want to get this this stuff done tonight. So I'm gonna wait for this thing to charge. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the meantime. Uh, anyway, so I'll pick this back up. And do some more uh, time lapse or just jump to when this is all over and I'm doing install. So who knows what the next shot is gonna be? You don't know, neither do I. in the uh, actual hashtag office space. It's very cool, it's in a basement. You can see the exposed pipes and everything. And all we're doing is cutting everything to length. I'm just kind of cutting these pieces down to a manageable size, the big eight foot length. They're just really floppy and hard to handle. So just cutting those down and then uh, attaching them to the wall is really easy. Basically, it's uh, some construction adhesive and then I'm just uh, brad nailing them to the wall that stuff will be there forever it's fantastic but if you do need to take it down eh, it's not the end of the world Totally debated on putting this in the video or not, but I think it's a great trick and it's not as dangerous as it looks. I know it looks freaky. My hands are not close to the board. There's no danger of kickback or anything scary. This is an eighth inch piece of plywood. It's real simple. You can see I'm taking my time 
kind of use it like a bandsaw. So don't leave comments about how stupid I am. It's not stupid. This is actually really simple. The blade's real low. And sometimes when you're on the job site, you need to cut a taper, and this is the best way to do it. So there are three conference rooms total that I did the wall and the ceilings to. I'm only showing you one because otherwise this video is going to get painfully long, even longer than it is. And so here is one. It's there with wide strips. Each room, each conference room has a different look with a different decoration, uh, and which you'll see in a minute. The end pictures, you'll see everything. Here is me thinking I'm really cool. I hope you think I'm cool too. I'm just kidding. I don't really care. Uh, so, I just want to take a minute before we're done. I'm going to have pictures scrolling in a minute that you'll see all the final rooms and the whole final space. I just want to say thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. These videos are fun to make and just kind of share these creations with you. But if you would do me a favor, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody that you think might like it, think it's cool. Like I always say, share it with people that uh, won't like it. It's fine. Just share it with anybody. But thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and do all that fun stuff with the notification and all that kind of stuff. But here are, are some final pictures that you can look through and see this final space. I think it turned out awesome. I think the company that I made it for is an incredible company. And I'm just really glad to to be any part, play any part in their success in downtown Fresno. I appreciate them and the work that they do. So I hope they like it because I love it.